Welcome to the Brilliant Lab Scratch Challenge series. In this first episode, we'll be creating digital stories that include scene changes and multiple sprites or characters. Before you start making your own, take some time to come up with a plan. A storyboard is a great way to help you visualize and keep track of what you need to accomplish. I'm going to be making a short animation linked to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number three, all about good health and well-being. What does this topic mean to you? Do some research and come up with a creative way to share your story or information. Navigate to scratch.mit.edu and get signed in. Then push Create to start a new project. For this project, we're not going to be using the Scratch Cat, so we can just hit the garbage can so that he goes away. Click on the Add Sprite button and choose a sprite that's going to work best for your project. You can add multiple sprites at this time. Using your storyboard as a guide, choose a background that you think works well for your first scene. Now we're going to load up the other scene backgrounds. Click on the backgrounds tab, and then we're going to choose a new background. So now we have two. Let's load in a third. So now we have all the scenes we need for our entire animation. Let's get started on our code. The first thing we want to set is the event. So when the green flag is clicked, we're going to set the backdrop to switch to the first scene. The first scene of my storyboard doesn't have any sprites. It's only text. So I need to program those sprites to be hidden. I'll use the block when green flag is clicked, and then I'll use the look block that says hide to tell that sprite that they should be hidden at the beginning. As a little time saver, you can just take that code and drag it to the other sprite. Doing this doesn't move the code, it makes a copy, so now both my sprites have the same coding box. Let's test it out. When I hit the green flag, the background changes to the blue sky, and both of the characters are hidden. To add text to my intro scene, I'm going to add a new sprite and use the paint tool. There are many different tools that I can use here, but I'm going to stick with text for now. Position it wherever you like. I want this title to be on at the very beginning and to stay on the screen for three seconds. So to do this, I'm going to code it that when the green flag is clicked, that text should show, wait for three seconds, and then hide. Let's test it. Now we're ready to switch to the second scene from our storyboard. Since the first title lasted for three seconds, we want to add a wait of three seconds after the first scene before telling it to switch to the second scene. Let's do the same thing for our first sprite. Let's tell them to wait for three seconds until that first scene is complete, and then using the look block for show, we're going to make that first sprite appear. Once they've arrived on the screen, I'm going to use the speech bubbles to make them say the line that I decided from my storyboard. Push the green flag button to watch what you've created so far. Does anything need to be adjusted? To end this second scene, we want to tell our sprite to hide once they've said their line. Scene 2 lasted for 6 seconds. That means I have to add a 6 second wait to my backdrop before moving on to scene 3.
So with all the timing considered right now, scene three is starting at nine seconds in. So I'm going to program that sprite to wait for nine seconds and then show. The show block is found in the looks category. Now I can add the text that I came up with during my storyboard writing. Keeping that amount of text on the screen for two seconds seems like a little bit short, so I'm going to adjust these to three seconds. Push the green flag to check the timing on everything. My final scene is text only, so I'm going to add a new sprite and use the paint tool. So far my animation is 16 seconds long, so I'm going to add in a wait time of 16 seconds before that text sprite is going to show. Watch your animation often and adjust things as needed. Maybe you forgot a block. Many sprites come with more than one costume. How could you use costume changes to make your animation even better? If you get stuck or you want to try something new, check out the built-in tutorial feature in Scratch. Be sure to share your brilliant projects with us. We can't wait to see what you come up with.